Hey, no surprises here. We're gonna do a speed unboxing of the others, Seven Sins, and I don't know if I'm doing my friend's uh, copy. I didn't buy this, obviously. Um, oh, I guess it's not that obvious, but uh, he's got more uh, disposable income than me. So, <laughs> um, but we all share games. You know, I I, I back some stuff, and he backs some stuff, and. If he wants to borrow one of my games, then he's more than welcome to. I can't play them all at once. And, uh... Uh... And he's got so many other things, too. So, anyways... The other seven cents... I'm gonna do a speed unboxing. I say this because, uh... He's already unboxed it. And... Rearranged everything. And condensed all his stuff... Into three boxes. So in the core box, he's got all the cardboard and instruction manuals and things. It's very heavy. It's like 12 pounds. And then uh, two other boxes right there, excuse the mess, uh, are full of all his miniatures. <coughs> excuse me. So without further ado, oh man, that's heavy. It's hard to move it around with your arms extended all the way. Oh man, can't even... I just want all this stuff in the view. So I'm going to run around the side of the table. And... Open the lid on that thing. If you hear other voices, obviously, um... Just like with all the other videos I've been doing lately. While I'm recording videos, I'm watching stuff too. So, it's totally unrelated. I'm watching a TED Talk. And maybe sometime in the future I'll share it with you guys. But for now, you guys look on TED Talks yourself. So we'll just move this here. I was going to tilt it open so you can see how he's packed everything. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. Uh, now I don't know, if, like, he's got like cloth pouches. I'm going to guess this is part of, this came with the game? I don't know, they kind of look like uh, nut bags. Nut milk bags. To me. But, oh, and he's already gone ahead and laminated. He's got a laminator. So he's taking this, the cardboard of the playmats and he's laminated them. So you're going to see some things that don't look like they came in your, even your Kickstarter box, which this is a Kickstarter box, as I, I may have implied by backing things. <coughs> Excuse me. Again. But yeah, so he's, he's taking like the, this is a reference card and it's laminated and it's nice and fancy looking. Oh. Uh, and uh, all these play mats. What's in here in this bag? He sleeved everything also. He's a sleeve fiend. I think I kick, kicked off a uh, trend amongst my friends of sleeving. And I believe these look like the Ultra Pros I sold him. <laughs> Penny sleeves. Of course, when you're getting thousands and thousands of cards... I don't know. Some people like super fancy cards. I'm not like a tournament champion for like Magic or any other collectible card game. Um, penny sleeves work great. And when they tear, which they never have. Uh, well, actually one has torn, but I didn't tear it. Um, but since I've been using them, uh, I haven't had any problems. So he's got... Even the, the penny sleeve versions of the mini card sleeves. And I have not done this. I, I do like the premium feel of the thicker card sleeves. But man, I would you'd be paying like three times as much for those. And with as many uh, card games as I have, um, it's not really cost effective. So the whole point, of course, of the sleeves is um, protect the cards. Because sometimes, not always, but sometimes... Replacements are hard to come by. Alright. More mini cards. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't... I mean, this is like a fresh unboxing. I have no idea what these cards are for. I watched a, a review video on it. I get to see a few things. <laughs> so these look like the Sin cards. Pride is on the back. I don't know if this is... Okay, these are like uh, events that happen during the hero's turn to do bad stuff, I'm sure. 
You got a deck for each sin. Read. I don't have to show him all you, you guys know. All you uh, uh, believers and non-believers out there know what the seven sins are, right? So I have to go over that. What I didn't realize was um, that you know I had I didn't really know much about this game other than um, it was expensive for me. I mean, when it came with two uh, two of the sins, you had to purchase the other sins as add-ons. So. <laughs> um, let's see, so you got story maps, different kinds of books. Uh, these are like almost like Sentinels of the Multiverse. Ooh. Like they're like little comics scenarios. Um, or like I guess they look like graphic novels actually, right? The artwork is a little bit nicer, um, or a lot nicer actually. No offense, uh, uh, who you guys? Uh, greater than games. Uh, Sentinel's artwork is great, but this is like, this is like what you see in graphic novels, so. Um, both very thematic, though. Wow, look at that. This must be the core box, what comes in it. This is the main rule book, I believe. It says rule book. And nice that it's in English, not, uh, German like the one I got for Zombicide. Um, but then now I have two fancy instruction books. More story maps. More story maps. What are these? Oh yeah, these are different different scenarios. I should be showing you the back so you can see the layouts. Some of them. Okay. Um, this is kind of new. How come everyone got the better ba colored bases? And I say better because um, on uh, the for zombie side, um, we didn't get as many. I don't know. Maybe my friend. Uh, purchased more add-ons. I don't know, but they have they're uh, they have the they're the, like the donut style. So like you clip them on, and then when you're done, you stick your finger in the hole and pops out the miniature a lot easier. The uh, not that they're super tight or anything, but um, you know, with the zombie ones, they're they're solid circles, and so you just just have to pry them out. Um, tokens. I don't remember what these are. These are like things that go in the altar room. I just remember that from the review. Uh, these look like different bonuses you can pick up. Objectives, perhaps. These also look like a, other objectives or like mystery, like just traps or something. Right? And they'll mean different things with different scenarios. I'm still under the weather, so sorry guys. Sorry about that. So these are fancy. Fancy Seven Sins bags. I feel like I have to be careful with them because the, the print on them are like, uh, I don't know, they're not like super sturdy print. Ooh. And you got little Cthulhu tentacle tokens. Oops. So I, I wanted to be sitting behind the camera and then holding things, but th like I said, that box is just it's so crammed with stuff. Oh, look at this. I want to ruin this box. Look at that. Oop. There. Oh. Those are the tiles. Pack full of cardboard. Okay. Lots of tiles. So not quite as big as zombicide tiles. Um, looks like one room or one main zone or area per um, tile. Right? I mean, there's still, like, yeah, I mean, there are not, those, I mean, I guess there's some rooms in here, right? So it's like four rooms in there or something like that. Um, but, man, the cardboard's as thick as the zombicide tiles are smaller, so they're more configurable. I hope these aren't in order. Oh, I guess they are in order. So I guess, well, it won't be hard to put them back in order. I'll try to keep them in order so I pull them out. Or I guess I don't really have to pull them all out. So these are, I mean, these are all the tiles. But I have a whole handful of tiles. There's like two more handfuls of tiles in there. In the box. <clears throat> Alright. 
corrupted NPCs, I guess. Fireman, chef. Ooh, you don't want to mess with a corrupted chef. Sounds like a Kickstarter stretch goal guy. Musician, gangster. Hey man, gangster here is a colored dude. What's up with that? Where's the, where's the white gangster at? Um. Oh, I see. No, I don't. I mean, it looks like he's got a. Is that a pipe? It's either a pipe or his beard is doing weird things. But the the diplomat is like a tentacle face. Focus. I don't know if you see that. It looks focused. So, once per round, summon a dead diplomat to join a non-ranged fight before dice are rolled. Mark current hero until end of round. Who loses their natural ability. Oh, that sounds like it's really awful. Really awful. Alright. Apocalypse track. Another one. I don't know. I'm guessing these are like uh, for the different sins that pop out. There's probably one for each sin. Um, or not. Well, there's only two. So maybe just to add a slight variety. Uh, or maybe they're in phases of the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Different colors. I'm sure I'll find out. Um, but they're a little bit narrower than these, which are like the, uh, the sin. It's in the uh, character card for the the uh, boss person, the person playing this in. Lust. Wrath. That guy doesn't look as scary. I mean, he's all orange and things, but come on now. Alright, and then, oh, and then these are characters. Holy cow. Nice thick play player cardboards. These are all the characters. All that. It's, it looks like an actual brick. So I guess each person gets to start with multiple characters. Or I guess if you're playing one or two people, you get like two or three characters each or something. And there's cardboard for some of these guys. Why is that? Oh, because it's a shapeshifter dude. So he gets the werewolf guy. Right, so you have the characters here with their uh, everyone's getting into the uh, the holes in the play car play mats or the recess, like in size has the has recessed the cards. So, this guy is, is a werewolf, he almost looks like Wolverine the way they, they cut his hair, almost, but he's a wolf, see, a wolf that looks like a bear. <laughs> so he gets this uh, extra cardboard on top when he sh changes. Which, oh man. I mean, I don't know. What, why you gotta cover up the whole freaking thing? If you're gonna shape shift. I don't know. It, it adds some extra art. But I mean, all, all you're getting is like uh, adjusted symbols here and some a new power and then new artwork. I mean. <laughs> Man, my nose is running. Sorry. Oh, every little extra helps. But for me, um, that just means more stuff to have to worry about losing. Um, I thought I saw a couple other pieces of cardboard. <laughs> Looks like my friends got these like color coded or something. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe maybe these are from different sets. But I mean, there's so many. No wonder this game costs so much. All this high quality play mats and things. <laughs> I mean, Zombicide gets the dashboards, which is cool. But it kind of changed the whole system of doing things. <laughs> but, I mean, this is totally different. So, what you gonna do? 
Looks good. Looks good. A lot better than the post-human stuff, although it is very reminiscent of the post-human playmats. Um, almost tempted to laminate those, but then I'd have to cut out the holes, and that, that would suck. So, it doesn't hardly get played anyways, so I, I don't really have to worry about protecting that. <clears throat> Alright, so, I'll put these back, and we'll get looking at the miniatures. And I'm going to put this upside down, Sue, because it keeps on poking out the end. And it'll just sit in the box like that. So, okay. Um, and then, try to get all this packed the way he had it. Alright. Oh, I didn't pull out all the stuff. So, there's all the custom dice in these bags. Check it out. Awesome! I love the awesome dice. Too bad it has blanks, just notice. Which I guess, for gameplay it's great, but it's just like, you're wasting a good die face. You should put something there, like a, a big fancy X or something. <clears throat> Alright. Get those. Let's see what these are like. Oh, these are like health tokens, the hearts, for like in the Arcade Quest. So nothing super fancy here. I mean, they're fancy, but you can, they're, not, they're not unique to this game. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. Lots of cool dice. I don't know if you paid for extra dice, but it comes with lots of good stuff. Twice as much dice as a uh, Zombicide. Oh, well. Oh. They're the end of the tassels. I thought they were. I had I had dropped something else. Right. Oh. Right. Almost fit. You know what you could do is take two or three of these out, and then it'll add just a little bit, just enough space to drop these in. Oh no, actually it won't. You need to take out like five of them. Never mind. I was gonna say take two or three of these player cards and then place them flat underneath this whole brick to add a little bit of room, so these would fall into the box. But uh, bringing them in all the way, I can already see you gotta take out like six of them to do that. Alright, never mind. So, well, I guess I'll just go in here like this. This one is shorter, so I guess we'll have that on top. The end of times, the aftermath. Alright. And. What, these go on top? Yes, no? Look at that. Just be careful with that, so I'll have to watch the video again later to see how I pulled everything out. Alright. That's that. I would show you the back of the box, but then I'd have to take everything back out again. Okay, how long did that take? About 12 minutes? Let's see. 20 minutes. Alright, I'm going to stop this video and we'll get to the minis. And again, I don't know where the minis go. We'll just take a look at them and admire them without knowing, without me being able to describe them. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find the sins. But other than that, I have no idea what, they, what they're named. So, 
Um, my friends already got them separated, so I'm not gonna pull them all out all at once and dump them out in the big giant pile. And uh, he wanted to label the bags, so I mean, I would too. So we'll just have to see how he separated them. And you guys who own the game, you can just think to yourself, wow, that guy doesn't know what, where those go. I do, right? So what was me? All right, see you guys in the next video. Minis, all the way.